Hello, this is Curtis Crow, the Photo Pro here, and today I want to talk about something that came up in my book that I'm writing, and that's the exposure meter. I'm going to show you what exactly we talk about in the book, which is what is the exposure meter, how do we adjust it, whether we're on the basic level of photography or the advanced level of photography, and when not to trust our exposure meter. So, as you know, exposure meters are now built into cameras, and they've been that way for a long time. Now, we can take advantage of it, but first we have to identify it. Now, on your camera, when you're looking for it, if you have a camera with an informational display here, you'll see it on there. But if you don't have this on the right-hand side of your camera, all you do is you hit the little Q button. Now, when you hit this Q button, it brings up a menu that has basically all your most pertinent settings to photo taking. You'll see a really wide field and it has a bunch of numbers in it. Three, two, one, zero, one, two, three. What the one, two, and three mean is how many stops of light it is either overexposed or underexposed. If you see the little indicator uh, underneath the, the dashes and the numbers uh, on the right hand side, it means it's overexposed. If it's on the left hand side, it's underexposed. And whatever number it's closest to, that's how much it's over or underexposed. You'll notice when you look at those dots, uh, there's two dots and then a number. That's because they're in one third increments. So you have one third of a stop, two thirds of a stop, and then a whole stop. So it's really easy. And if you notice, everything in your camera moves in one third increments. Now we have a couple of still lives in front of us. For this video, we're gonna use the USS Enterprise as our subject. Now, again, this is for the basic user. So we're not gonna go in manual. We are gonna check out the exposure in AV mode. This is aperture priority. This is where you only decide one setting on your camera and everything else is auto and it doesn't use flash. So that's one of the reasons why I like it because it never pops up the flash. Now this is the Canon 6D so I don't have to worry about flash but that's for another video. So right now it says it's already set for perfect exposure. This is to be expected because it's in AV mode. The camera's deciding all the settings based off that exposure meter. So it's always gonna give you the perfect exposure according to the camera. Let's go ahead and take a picture of perfect exposure. So according to the camera, that is perfect exposure. You might look at it and go, no, that's too dark or too bright, but you're most likely after looking at this image, you're probably gonna say too dark. Now this is where I'm gonna show you how to take control of your exposure meter before you learn manual. This is a great way to jump into more technical settings on your camera instead of jumping headfirst into the mess that is exposure triangle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that Q button again and we're gonna go to that meter that I told you about earlier with the really wide field that we were looking at. Now if we hit set on our camera, it'll bring up a new window and now it's got tons and tons of little lines underneath it and an orange line. The orange line is where you're at now. If we want our camera to be one stop overexposed to brighten the image, we're gonna go ahead and move that three times to the right. So that way it's one third over, two thirds over, and then one whole stop over. So now when you look at your light indicator through your uh, viewfinder, you will see that it says that it's one stop over. Perfectly and always one stop over. So let's go ahead and retake that image. Now look at that, that's already a lot better. But I think we're gonna to wanna to go a little higher. See, this is where automatic doesn't really have the power we want it to have. We wanna see the photo a different way, so we must change the settings to make that happen. But if you're still uncomfortable with that, this is an easy way to get into it. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit that Q button again, go to set, and we're gonna go two more dashes over. So we're, now we're going one and two thirds stop over, just under two stops, just a hair under two stops. I'm gonna retake that photo, boom. And that's the exposure I wanna see. So I like my images to be bright, I like them to be vibrant, and that is exactly what I want right there. So what we taught you today was how to identify your exposure meter, how to tell where it's at as far as settings. Again, your camera should always be on zero the little indicator on the bottom. As we adjust our exposure meter, we can make the camera automatically go brighter or darker as we please. All right, well, if this was helpful for you, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want more content from us on the regular, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This has been Curtis Crow, the Photo Pro, and as I always do, toodles. Work. 
and that is invaluable. And I really wish every Canon camera had Wi-Fi because that has been worth its weight in gold for me. And causes a blur effect from whenever that shutter opens to whenever it closes. Everything that moved in that moment is now captured as motion. 800 on this photo, I mean, we can, we wanted to, but I feel like that's too harsh and that's gonna do a disservice to the photo.